Lexipath is a combination of Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, and pathology, which is the science of diagnosis. So essentially, our mission is to diagnose disease using smartphones. It means a lot to us to get this prize. The fact that when the first time we brought it out of the lab that everybody responded to it in such a positive way. The connections that, and the reviews that uh, ASM is going to provide us further will really help a lot. So we've gone through a number of iterations since the iShow last year. This was actually the model we had at the iShow. It was a single axis and it used this linear actuator and that was how we controlled everything. And subsequently we moved on to working on designs that would accommodate two axes. So we quickly learned in the process that there was going to be a lot of iterations across the board. We first met Alexapath um, outside of the competition. I went to visit them at their studio and they showed me some of the hardware pieces that they were working with. This is the challenge that we were faced with when we were working with them. They were trying to make a slide move very slowly um, and in a very controlled way so that they could take micro photos at 40 times magnification. They were trying to do this with teeth that were 3D printed. The nice part about this one is we created these little teeth. We were sort of trying to create everything just with the 3D printed material. Uh, we were trying to create the effect of the guide rails with these teeth. But then we moved along and we just, we just bought guide rails. So <laughs> it actually works a lot better now. And we showed them that every other device a microscope interacts with is very highly machined and engineered. And that encouraged them to start looking into the different pieces that other machines that have to track that, that precisely use. You know, it's all about working on your form factor to figure out what are gonna be the components of your product and how is it gonna work so it works in a repetitive motion every time, you know you're not gonna have any failure. So you wanna go from something that you know it just, ah, uh, look, it works if I press this button, to something that it works every single time, no matter what, wherever it is in the world, it's working. So the larger goal uh, is to have a device which is portable and could be deployed anywhere in uh, low infrastructure regions like India, Haiti, and all those places where you don't have enough doctors available or the specialists. This is actually version number six. The version we showed at the iShow was literally version number one. So we've gone from that iteration through other iterations. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, they look nice. They printed nice. It really did. Even the parts that are really fragile. I mean, we're doing the best we can do. <laughs> I hope we can convince more and more people to help us along this journey and to, to help us on this cause.